Hey everybody, uh, this is us. We're in North Carolina right now. Lynette will tell you more about that. As you see behind us, a beautiful lake. We're having a, a great time of rest. Uh, we're here to talk about um, urban church planning. We have in our literature that we're urban uh, missionaries and an urban church plant in 2019. So, what does that look yeah. like? Yeah, uh, and, and you know, one of the funny things I think gets asked a lot of times, and I don't think I've mentioned it yet, is, is the state giving us land? Now, mindful of what it means to plant a church, uh, having a building and things like that is not the most important thing to us as a church plant. Uh, church plant for us is dealing with people and discipling people. That's what church is supposed to be. And so in the context of what we're doing now, we want to kind of talk to you guys about what it means to be urban missionaries and, and church planting, kind of give you an idea of, number one, why we're doing what we do. Number two, you know, what? why do we need the money? Because P, I don't know that people understand what church planning completely is, so this might go into two segments, uh, but we're going to do that. But first thing we're going to talk about, Lynette, Lynette, lead off, and that is talking about uh, urban missions and what that means and why we're calling ourselves urban missionaries. Yeah, like you said, we are in North Carolina, and we're on this beautiful lake at a state park this week because it's kind of a down week. This is probably the only week that we're like somewhere for the whole week and don't have anything to do so I we, needed it we'll be preaching um, Sunday in Henderson uh, which we're just like 17 miles from the Virginia border so um, yep. but we are in our camper while it is not perfect it is home and so um, yep. we have this amazing view behind us so million dollar view for $20 a night <laughs> so um, we really like this campsite and uh, we're still um, still in the camper trailer and we will be um, for a little while. But urban missions, now we're saying urban church plant in Denver for 2019. Uh, and, and urban missionaries, I, I consider myself an urban missionary. Yep. Um, and so I feel like for a lot of pastors and even a lot of people who might watch or see our literature or see us put something about that, might think, what is an urban, urban missionary or an urban church plant? And um, while you might not know it, there are literally like degrees at Lee and other colleges that are built around urban missions. Like, oh yeah, it is a real it's a thing. big program, especially today. Mm -hmm. And so it's a it's a, uh, a concentration in colleges. Um, and so I can't say that we I've actually been involved in urban missions, but um, leaving Southwest Georgia, um, we just uh, really feel like God called us to Denver, Colorado, which we've already talked to you about on a previous video. And so getting, you know, starting to think about that, thinking about moving to a very big metro city, an urban city, um, we decided on the idea of urban church plant and urban missions. Um, and really, basically, that just means what it, it says it, it says it in the title. It's an urban area. Yeah. And so if you, you may, you may or may not know this, you might be familiar with the Church of God, you might not be. That's the organization that we're a part of. We're both um, ministers in the organization. And so... Our organization was founded over 100 years ago in the rural Appalachian Mountains. Um, we really, um, other denominations went to the cities, but we really didn't. We really focused hard on the rural areas. Yeah. And so we have a lot of Church of Gods across America in very rural settings. Now we do have churches in the cities, we do. Um, but that hasn't been typically our focus as a denomination, um, the cities, especially early on, 50 to 100 years ago. And so I really just have felt lately, I, I can't speak for him, but I have really felt lately like there's this call to go back to the city, uh, to go to the city. Um, you know, if you're talking about a harvest and you're talking about a mission field, you got to go where there's people. And Denver's one of the fastest growing, you've heard us say this, one of the fastest growing cities in America. Um, you know, it, it is a mission field in the fact that there are so many people. We can reach so many more people in an urban environment than we can in a rural environment. It is uh, kind of where we're, what we mean when we say we're urban missionaries and we are going to, to do an urban church plan. Um, Can they still see our beautiful background? Yes. I mean, urban missions work. Both. Oh, I mean... I'm a lovely couple. We are a big couple. I'm so big, I'm a couple all by myself. I lived in Georgia the last two months. I'm not all this on there, so you can You stop. don't have to. It's cold. Not that much, no. Yes, you can. No. Yes. That's not out too much, too. 